appreciate y'all for coming to the Taste of Blanchard. Thank y'all. We had a great time. We did. They come from five or six different states to compete every year. You know, we have around 38 barbecue cooks, 47 steak cooks from a five to six state area. Uh, we have about 50 chili cooks. We're going to take this to concessions and they'll sell rib plates, half chicken plate. Okay, they are selling rib plates. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. This is how we make our money off this event. Yeah. Because, you know, we keep our entry fees low to these guys and try to give them a bunch of money back with prizes. And then, in turn, they donate their leftovers. Mr. Newton, thank you so much. Well, the prices for this barbecue, rock bottom prices. For instance, um, we've been selling chopped ribeye sandwiches. We actually took the ribeyes from the National Ribeye Competition last night. Chopped them up, sold them in sandwiches, large buns, for $5. Golly. And that is certified Angus beef. We can't sell this and I got to eat it. Ooh, look at that. I don't know if you've had a chance to get to the craft show, but to me, it's one of the best craft shows in the area. The criteria we use to select the vendors, you know, it's what kind of products would work well with our community. Um, so they're all just amazing. As a matter of fact, my wife has spent quite a bit of time in the craft show this morning. It took us too long. Okay, we weren't going to do chickens, but we have some half chickens completely Ooh. untouched. Yes. Tom. Yes. Awesome. Best sports coverage in the Arkansas. Perfect. Look at that. Oh, I'm so good he's going to his peaches out with it. good. He's he's awesome. I've been following him all the way across campus. He's good. I'm him for the second dog there. <laughs> These ribs right here come from Adam Gotro, who was the world barbecue champion about three years ago. Awesome. Now that's the ones I want now. That's the ones you yes. want, huh? Let's see what they I'm look like. Look at that. Oh, Woo. wow. See how that tore away like that? That's good. It didn't, you don't, you don't really, in a competition, you don't want the meat to fall off the bone. People always say that. That's not what you want in a competition. You want it to pull away. Like that. Boxer. Professional boxer. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> didn't I tell you they had to be a little crazy? All these guys are a little crazy out here. And I'm going to tell you what this man can cook. He wins. He's top ten in something every stinking year. I hope you're right this year. He is. Every year. I guarantee you these are good. Ooh, I guarantee they're good. I love the man. I mean, this is wonderful for our community. Wonderful.